this year. Only the second time in program history it has 20 wins in a season since joining Division One in 1976. And the basket is good inside by Woolbright. Times the game at two. What of a misdirect. And then they bring Woolbright. Look at him. He comes off that screen. Foster's just too late. He's able to finish with contact. In his last game against Furman in January, Woolbright had 27 points. Six. Woolbright inside Granger got bumped and scored the basket and a foul. Opening half, back and forth we go. It's Western Carolina in the lead by two. With three. Rebound ricochets around in the hands of Woolbright, and here he comes. Woolbright averaging 22 points a game, 12 rebounds a game. Both numbers lead the SOCOM this year. And he drives inside, and he makes it a two. He has five points in the game. Such make that shot, but boy, they got the situation they wanted it. Watch it right here. Woolbright, he rebounds it. He locates where his teammates are. Is there any defense looking to back tip? Nope. And he just takes his time. Nope. Young coaches in college basketball. Bob Ritchie, Justin Gray. I mean, you can say that about a number of guys in this league. Granger gets inside again and lays it in. In Cuddleby, North Carolina. Woolbright, the no-look pass to Robertson. That's a three, and that's good. Come on, Robertson, only a six. Fouls on Robertson, and Smith will head to the line and shoot three. Look at Woolbright, almost a no-look, but he knows that P.J. Smith is hung up on a screen on the baseline and it gives Robertson time to catch, gather, and shoot it. But 7.20 to go here in the opening half of play. Shot clock inside of 10, Woolbright finds Jones, quick shoot for three, and it goes in. Furman strikes first here in the second half. Said in the first half, he entered the last five games 17 to 25 from the field. A really good basketball. As Woolbright hustles his way inside, he's fouled, makes the shot, he has eight. Nine. Foster kind of raises his hands, but watch right here. Woolbright takes it, and no double team comes. Vanderbilt, for a split second, kind of ducks in there, but doesn't come full way. Heen gets caught trying to box out Granger. In the first half, three threes already here in the first two and a half minutes to the second half of play. Furman by eight, Woolbright trying to make something happen. Reverse layup is good. What a play by Ontarius Woolbright and the Liggers. I'll credit Bob Ritchie for calling his number in those pick and roll situations. Woolbright goes inside, banks it in. Stars starting to shine right now, my friend. Western Carolina trying to get revenge on Furman after losing in the final seconds at Furman and Greenville in January, shot for three, goes in by Russell Jones, his second of the night. How do you feel about the league this year? Seems like it's really competitive, especially the first uh, five or six teams in the standings. As Pelot gets a three. Well, that's a big shot. Fulbright, as you mentioned, Brock, he hadn't scored in, what, three quarter, or three halves. Scoreless last. And the ball saved out of bounds by Western. Turnover on Furman, number seven of the four. Palou for the slam! Boy, what a fantastic save behind points in the game. Coach Bob Ritchie says his team needs to defend him better here tonight. He had a great game against Furman in the last meeting. Here's Pelote's three, puts it in, and he ties the game. Western Carolina can tie or take the lead on this trip. It was down two at the break. It's down two now. They go inside. Cornelius Williams, two-hand slam! The stars are starting to shine. J.P. Pegues for Furman, and then Woolbright, two. Look, there's an assist to Pelote for the three, and then the next possession fakes out the men in white. Cornelius Williams finishes it. So before that trip to the line by J.P. Pegues, Western Carolina went on an 11-2 run to tie the game at 59. Williams inside. He drops it in for shot six weeks ago. Get pass in the corner, Jones is three, got it! Another assist by Woolbright. And there's no need for that for Jones. Watch this here again. He keeps his dribble alive. He's looking.